The crashing sound of the Pacific Ocean against glacier-formed rocks, hard-packed soft sand framed by old-growth forest. This is the magic of Chesterman Beach near Tofino, British Columbia. I think it makes us feel a bit humble. It uh, gives us a bit of humility. It makes us think about our place in the world. And I hope that everybody who comes here takes a little piece of that home with them and just remem remembers how they felt when they were here. Josie Osborne is a marine biologist and the mayor of Tofino. But we're here today to explore and discover the marine environment that captured her heart when she was nine years old. I grew up on beaches and I have always loved being at the beach, poking around and uh, looking at things and figuring out what they were. And then when I was about nine years old, I learned that a lot of the things I was looking at were also edible. You could survive. Mm -hmm. you should, mm -hmm. Some wilderness show where you don't get to What's important uh, cook to anything or, right. or buy anything. Mm -hmm. You have to survive kind of, completely off the kind of area. Tastes like, tastes healthy. I don't know, it tastes like, well, it tastes like tree, but. <laughs> it's a bit it cleansing. It's a yes, little bit. It is. It's kind of like a tonic or something. The first thing that I always notice is where's the tide? What what height is the tide at? And what am I going to be able to see? And is this high, low tide? So right this now? is mid tide. This okay. is about mid tide, and you can see some of the intertidal zonation. I, I want you to try a little taste of the seaweed. Okay. Okay. And what type of seaweed is this? Well, we've got a couple of different kinds here. This guy here is very closely related to nori. Right. With which sushi. you find on sushi. Right. That's right. I actually really love this mm. stuff. So you, you eat this at home? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a pretty regular seaweed eater. I like the texture mm -hmm. very much. Not everyone, though, is a regular seaweed eater. And for sure, most people don't eat it right off the beach. <laughs> The tides here at North Chesterman, or North Chesty as the locals call it, are pretty consistent in early to midsummer. You'll experience the lowest lows and the lowest highs. Josie is fascinated with the creatures who survive and thrive here in the tidal zones. They withstand the pounding surf, the changing environment as they adjust to the changing water levels. Aggregating anemones reproduce asexually, filling in any and every open spot. Oh, it's sticky. It's sticky. These rocks are layered with life that isn't visible unless you take the time to actually look. Even in this small area here, I can see four different kinds of snails. So just like your, your garden snail, but these are marine snails. And the one I want to show you is this fella here. Are you going to pull him off the rock? I am very, oh, he's moving. I can very see him gently. I'm going to pull him off the rock. Okay. okay. He's so, like, oh, what's happening? Yeah, he, this is a black turban snail. Now guess how old this snail might be. Two months? Three months? Could be 60 or 70 years old. And it's been in the same spot? It, well, it's been in the same area. This area. is one of the longest living snails here on the west coast. Oh, look at the jellyfish. Oh, hey, yeah. Wow, this good eye. Um, you know, this summer we've seen a fair number of them. They're, really, they're not poisonous because no, they're clear, right? They're really degrading right now, so there's not much of them left. When I talk to people who come here for the first time in their life, usually the first things they'll say is, I can't believe the air. It's so clean, it's so fresh. I can't believe the ocean and how huge it is and how big the trees are. People are absolutely just, they're just struck by how rich it is here and how diverse it is here. Chesterman Beach is part of the Clayquot Sound Biosphere Reserve established in 2000. It's an international designation that acknowledges a commitment to ensuring that the environment and development coexist successfully. From Chesterman Beach near Tofino, for Go, I'm Kate Bergen.